you know, after using it for a week I have to admit VS Code is a better editor than Emacs. I wrote about why I don't like VS Code after trying it for exactly 18 minutes. Yes, my review is amazing. Basically what I don't like about VS Code is that it creates too much too much visual clutter on, on top of my code and I like to I like to have an editor that's just a white frame and has code and I can write code and that's pretty much it. I don't like it when it has so much other stuff going on and a bunch of tools on all on all the sides and stuff like that. So the article I posted this morning about VS Code caused a tiny little shitstorm which is <laughs> It was pretty cool. I learned a lot about VS Code and how to configure it, which is exactly what I was going for. It's uh, basically, the trick I used is called Cunningham's Law. Cunningham's Law, by the way, says that the best way to get the right answer in the internet isn't to ask a question because then people ignore you, it's to give the wrong answer and then everybody feels compelled to, to correct you. Just like this famous XKCD says. Are you coming to bed? No, I can't. This is important. Somebody is wrong on the internet. So you post something slightly upsetting, something slightly wrong, and then a bunch of people show up and they say, why you're wrong? You get good advice, you, get, you learn a lot, and now I think I know how to set up VS Code so that I can potentially start using it and seeing if, I, if it can be better than Emacs. One thing a lot of people did ask me was, why are you even trying to get away from Emacs if you like it so much? Why? You wrote this whole post about trying VS Code for 18 minutes and most of it is just I like Emacs more than I like VS Code. That I really like Emacs but it has a couple of tiny things that bother me. If I cut something and then it prettifies, I can no longer paste that code which is really annoying. Uh, it doesn't have emoji support, I really need emojis in my editor. A bunch of tiny little things where I think Emacs is no longer really the perfect editor for me. So I was gonna record showing you what kind of advice I got from the internet about how to use VS Code and how to configure it. But it looks like the software I use to connect this DSLR to this computer to make videos of the screencasting nature doesn't work on High Sierra anymore unless you insert an empty SD card in your... Got my empty SD card, now let's see if I can make VS Code useful using all that free advice from the internet. So here's the here's a side-by-side -side comparison of how my Emacs is configured and how a semi-default VS Code is configured. So this, this is essentially a React file, same file in both of them. You can see that tabs in VS Code are gigantic. There's a file explorer, there's this stuff here. I, do, I still don't know what the minimap is for and uh, the bottom is actually very similar. Let's look at all the advice I got. Reddit was mostly disappointed in me and telling me that I'm an idiot for not giving it a bigger chance. On my Facebook page people considered it kind of funny and gave me advice saying basically giving me some advice for how to change font family and stuff like that. On my personal wall people were mostly trolling each other and on Twitter, Twitter was actually really useful. There were a lot of people giving me good advice so let's try using some of that. But let's see, apparently I can make these go away. But... <laughs> adjustment and having to install a couple more plugins after syncing my settings it's I have to admit it's kind of growing on me this thing is it might it might actually be good enough to replace Emacs I guess we'll see I'm gonna give it one or two more days I don't know I guess the next step after this is to start writing some plugins for things that I want and don't have I've been getting a couple ideas for plugins that I could write and things that need to be fixed and I guess because all of it is written in JavaScript, I can just fix them. 
That should be a fun life coding experience, trying to fix stuff in VS Code, right? If it actually becomes my editor, I think I'm gonna try to fix a few things that I don't like. I gotta say, VS Code is just better. It, it loads faster, it works smoother, it supports emojis. The emoji support in Emacs was really bothering me. The setup that I have now is great. I have a very similar bottom line as I did in Emacs with nice colors, not intrusive, very subtle. My entire editor is just the editor, it's just code. I still don't like how big the tabs are, but I can figure out how to make them smaller. And one of the nice things is that when I type stuff, annotations here for See, it gives me little annotations for changes that I've made and stuff like that. So that, all of that is really cool. I think I really like this new feature that they added where I can do something like this. I think if I press this, I can extract it into another function and it makes a blah function. See, so that's kind of cool. What, what actually made me switch was this whole, this killer feature that Jason from Preact showed me where you press command and you can click on the function and see where it's defined. See, that that right there, that is what I always needed in JavaScript and never even realized it. And I'm already becoming hopelessly dependent on it. I just, I like it now. I'm gonna keep using it. And the couple things that are really annoying, for instance, when I'm here and I press tab, it indents the line instead of jumping me to the beginning of the line, that's annoying. Another thing that's really annoying that I can't figure out is in Emacs, I had a way to press control and down and it would jump me between empty lines or at least between blocks of code. So if I was here and I pressed command down, it would jump me straight to here, which was very efficient to navigate around your code using, um, using your keyboard. With VS Code, I find myself having to switch to my mouse and having to uh, scroll. So I installed Emacs keyboard bindings just so that a lot of my muscle memory stays working. And now I can't jump to a line because command control G or alt G doesn't work. And that's supposed to put me, give me an option to jump to a line and I can't do that anymore. So that's really annoying and I have to figure out how to get that back.